Villains have the most fun, I think. Yeah. True. People think it's blondes, but it's actually villains. And if you're a blonde villain, then it's yeah, amazing. Matthew, um, since your character, Mr. Paradox, yes. um, controls the different timelines, do you think that the iconic Mr. Darcy Hanflex from <laughs> Pride and Prejudice, do you think that exists in every timeline, given that 20 years later, fans are still obsessing over it? Yes. I do you know that? Do you know the hand flex? <laughs> the, the hand flex. Yeah. Everyone knows the hand flex. <laughs> really Joe Wright just spotted that. It really? wasn't a yeah. He was like, oh, what are you doing? What's that? What were so you it doing? A, you have a bit of a sword. I was like, because I just held her hand. I think. You're like, put her in there. <laughs> yeah, but we, it wasn't. It wasn't like a. Mo it was like, oh, let's scrap that, and then we moved on to something else. It wasn't a thing. It's so amazing. At all. I feel like it always happens that way. Yeah. Often, yeah. It's so it's such, you, yeah. yeah. And then you get yeah. this iconic thing. I should have done that because Sean said gave me full reign with when he said like when I was figuring out Cassandra's because all her powers oh, are through her hands. Yeah. And oh, he was like, do whatever yeah, you want, yeah. and I should have just yeah. come in with that. I just want to say, if you had asked me as a child what my four favorite films were, at least two of them would have been Cheaper by the Dozen and Big Fat Liar. <laughs> and I recently rewatched Big Fat Liar and. <laughs> pinnacle of cinema right there, because where else can you see a blue Paul Giamatti running around Hollywood as a crazy Hollywood exec? You're speaking straight to my heart. Big Fat Liar, Biffle, as it's Biffle, got to be right. known. Marty Wolf is such, I mean, Paul Giamatti and I, we went to college together. Okay. We've been friends ever since, and we're always like, the world may not know it, but Marty Wolf is kind of an all-timer of a character. He's so unself-aware. He's so wrong. He's so rude. Like, to this day, I will quote insults that Marty Wolf flung at characters. Um, and yeah, just that Paul Giamatti came to star in my first movie and subject himself, because this is before, like, I could even afford visual effects. Amazing. So, like, that dude was spray-painted blue every morning. That was not pleasant. Even less pleasant was getting it off. As I think oh Marty God. says, I spent the night with a scrub brush and a can of turpentine. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. bye bye, little boy blue, I am back! Iconic, <laughs> iconic. What was the first superhero movie that you both watched that got you interested in participating in the genre? It's not Marvel, but I was obsessed with the Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Spider Man. I used to have a picture of him in my bedroom. Did you? Yeah, I did. I feel very old now. <laughs> um, Superman. 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 Richard Donner's Superman, which, by the way, holds up only kind of. I have tried to force all four of my daughters to watch it, and um, and I'd say it's hit and miss. But I remember, I mean, the transformation of Superman, the notion of him flying around the world to reverse its rotation and therefore reverse time. These were like huge visuals, huge ideas, uh, romantic big-hearted, anthemic storytelling. And even though some of the effects may not hold up, the spirit of that movie and bringing a superhero story to life on screen, I remember the way it made me feel. And that's what I was going for with Deadpool and Wolverine, is to make people feel. And Logan as well, I just think is one mm. of the greatest. Mm. Brilliant. Of, yeah, that's it was so like a proper yeah. feat of cinema, that. Uh, as this is Letterbox, if Deadpool and Wolverine had Letterbox accounts, who do you think would recommend the best films? I feel like Wolverine would go really earnest. It would, I That's feel like Wolverine would be a lot of soppy rom-coms. You've got yeah. mail. You'd Fully, be, yeah. You'd be putting that on it. Every Nora Ephron film. Right. Yeah. I think it's definitely Deadpool. I think Wolverine, I don't even know if Wolverine watches movies. Um, he lives such an interior life, whereas Deadpool, here's the thing. We love Deadpool because Deadpool is in constant conversation with culture. And so I think that he would be a cinemaphile and a letterbox uh, fan as well. Deadpool would just be, I feel like he's really <laughs> ironic and weird. Yeah, maybe Deadpool likes lots of, sort of, lots of violent movies. Lots yeah. of violent, yeah, and then yeah. like Chicken Run. Right. Yeah. You know, that's his balance. Yeah.